Some of our problems are old problems, some others are new. So the old problems is all the need we have for subsidies from the State of Israel for our institutions. I am thinking of our schools, but also our hospitals. And this is really a, a problem for us because it is very difficult to continue. What is new is the, all these acts of, uh, how to call them, harassment that took place. I remember, I think it was in January and there were uh, almost six acts of vandalism or, or violence, some violence in one month, within one month, which is huge. So the police arrive and often they arrive late in many cases, they say that it is an unbalanced person, but this is not enough. I mean, as it could happen once, but you cannot say every, uh, every, every while, oh, the, these are unbalanced people who did it. So, it's, uh, something is going wrong. And for sure that extremists who hesitated before to do such acts, they, they feel more secure. There is surely not an organized activity or policy of the government against Christians. It is not about that. But there are many acts and the reaction is very, very weak. It's very weak. There is no real protection that is given. It is really problematic. According to the last uh, statistics, in December 2022, they said 185,000 Christians, among them around 135,000 Arab Christians, Arab Christians, in all Israel. We could speak of 80,000 people living in Nazareth. There are many families now who left Nazareth and live in, in Haifa, young couples. Many people want to leave it because of this violence and they prefer to go to mixed cities because there is more security there. It's a very sad thing because the good people, those, you know, people who want to live quietly, who want to have a good quality of life, they are leaving. 